Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you might have seen on our Facebook and maybe on Instagram today, someone posted um, a photo that she was going on a bit of an impromptu road trip. We were planning on putting a set of ORS drawers in the back of the Land Cruiser um, and just happened to be a set of exactly what we wanted popped up on Facebook Marketplace for sale so we snavelled them up and saved ourselves about a thousand dollars which was a bonus so now we're down to installing them so let the fun begin try and piece this thing back together with no instructions come along for the ride hopefully i won't swear too much so i've got the base plate in all it it mounts down to the factory tie down points so you just unbolt them they're a 10 mil bolt and then there's four recessed holes in the base plate that it bolts down. That's been a bit tricky. Um, we didn't have all the fitting kit or any instructions. So I bolted it down once and it wasn't level. So I had to go and find some little plastic feet just to space up underneath it. So it just bolted down nice and level, nice and straight, which is about as close as it's going to get now. So since I was busy today and I couldn't actually get down to pick these up, I actually haven't seen them. Um, so I wasn't exactly sure which ones they were. So um, the ones we originally were going to go were going to be the aluminium drawers. Um, obviously to keep the weight down as much as possible. Um, you know, we've just put a GBM upgrade in the cruiser, so, you know, weight, it's not a huge problem, but, um, so yeah, absolute bonus to find that these are the aluminium drawers as well, so, absolute win, I'm pretty happy, and, and, you know, so far, so good, they're going together the way they're supposed to be, so, finished bolting this drawer in, and, We'll move on to the next part. The draw bolts in with two, four bolts to each end. Um, there's stoppers in there as well, which I couldn't work out what the, there was a couple of little metal springs. Couldn't work out what they were, but I found out where they go. They're the draw stoppers. So that just stops it, lets the draw come all the way out, but just holds it in there. Um, so, got the draw bolted in. It's gone in no problems. Just thought I'd start now and while I'm going on this side, just get this wing kit in. Um, don't know if that is the correct procedure, but hey, I'm just winging it. <laughs> you like that one? Uh, this is the fun when you get stuff and you've got no instructions. I have no idea what I'm doing. side wing I found it's easier to install it to the drawer before you put it in so there is the next step on this side now is to put the top on and bolt the top down so as you can see the tops in one piece maybe if I line these back ones up it might make the front ones a bit easier um, might have to find just a couple different screws and stuff as the it's the bloke we bought it off he didn't actually pull it out of the car so he was just given a bottle full of screws and I think some of them might be missing so but this will get it into the car, get it using, and then we'll fine tune it over time. Alrighty, eh? That's that side done. Looks pretty, pretty 
pretty happy with that. It needs a bit of a clean. But, as I said before, just needed to get it in, get it out of the way. So the fridge slide and cage, it's got four bolts, one each corner obviously, and then it has um, six screws through the middle, just hold it. Oh, yeah, the light's going flat, so yeah, and it's got six screws that run through the middle that hold it into place. Um, obviously it is second hand, the fridge slides a little bit tight, I just think it's got a bit of, needs a bit of a degrease, a bit of spray grease, or lithium grease in the runner, which will make it slide a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, overall, it's going together, pretty simple. Um, obviously once I've got this bolted in, I'll, um, screw in the six screw holes just this it's just some self tappers that screw in it just gives it a little bit more strength now I'm on to the other side I'm to get this one So this one's a little bit easier than the other side. I'm gonna have to pinch the light. Need a longer bolt than that. Maybe that one. That one might be a bit easier to install now. Because I'm just wondering if I'm running into a little bit of trouble here because um, this is off a of 2008 and we're putting it into a 2016, 17. So I'm not too sure if that's causing a bit of the problems here. But uh, these things happen. I'm just having a bit of issues lining up some of these holes. I suppose these are the the joys of buying second hand um, you don't really know what you're going to get but the amount of um, the amount of money that we've saved I was I was well and truly worth it, I think. What do you reckon, hun? Yeah. So that's about it. Just put these four self tappers in. Pull the fridge back in. Oh, before I put the fridge in, I'll give this a good vacuum. Drop that side panel in. Job done. Um, we'll give you a report back on on how it goes. See the missus likes it, see if it makes any rattles um, or anything like that uh, before we go. So that's a little battery box. Just bolts down in there. Lid on it. I think the bloke we bought it off. He used it for recovery gear, which is probably a good idea. It's out of the way. Um, the weight's right over the top of the axle. We might do the same. We're not hopefully not going to use the recovery gear all that much. But yeah, overall, nice, pretty neat, neat job. So, as I said, we'll report back, see how it goes, see if we have any issues with it. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, put any comments down below. We love hearing from everybody and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers guys.